As JavaScript developers, most of the time we are debugging our apps. Debugging is a technique that can be acquired over time. And as JavaScript developers, we have many tools in our arsenal to help us debug things. In this video, I want to go over a couple of techniques that we can use to debug things in JavaScript. Now the first technique that most of us have probably been using throughout most of our careers is the council log statement. The council log statement is handy because it's very easy to use and it's available everywhere. And you usually use it to log out a value of a variable. Now this works, but there's downside to it. If your application gets larger or more complex, you will be littering your app with council log statements when you want to debug something. And sometimes, too many debugging statements like council log can be counterintuitive and it may be counterproductive to us because now you lost track of where things are. I've seen apps with hundreds of council log statements and then in the end, before you commit, you'll have to remove all of them. Now let's see how council log works. Council log works very easily with council.log and then the value you want to log. In this case, I want to log the total URL value. So if I run the app, you can see that the value is being logged out. This is straightforward and very easy to use and most of us are doing things this way. Now there's a better way of doing things. Personally, I want to move away from littering my app with council logs and I want to use a totally separate way of doing things. So this is the debugger statement. If you type in debugger semicolon, you're going to pause the program's execution and then you can step through your app and then you can see all the values of every variable before that. This is very, very powerful. And this statement is available in both Node.js environment and the browser environment. And I want to go over how this works in both environments. So let's start by going to a Express application. Here I have a very basic Express application set up. This is out of the box, generated via Express Generator. And let's say I want to debug something. When somebody goes to our uh, root path, something executes, right, in the server. And here I put a debugger statement at the end. So let's see what this does. Now before you want to get this working on Node.js environment, you'll have to do something. It's that the, when you execute your application, you need to run the dash dash inspect flag in Node.js in order to get the inspector, the debug inspector to run. So here I added dash dash inspect to Node. And then if we do npm start, you see this statement down here. It says debugger listening on this WebSocket. So how do you reach the debugger window? Well, if you have Chrome, you can go to Chrome dash inspect slash pound devices. In here, you will see that this extra line here on the target that tells you that there's a inspector session going on in this My Express app. Notice that if I shut down the app, this disappears. So this is always listening to a specific port where your debugger is running. So first we have to click on inspect here to open up a small window where it will connect to your app. So right now the app is running and it will only get executed if I, this debugger statement will only get executed if I hit the slash routes. So if I go to the home route, as you can see the program immediately pauses Right? So as it pauses, you can go in here and inspect things. So you can see that it directly tells me what the value of each variable is. So instead of doing console log, what's foo, what's bar, now you can see right away at this point of the program's execution, you see the value of every single variable. You can also get the value of uh, request and response, which is the standard express 
variables. So no longer would you need to console log anything. You can just hover over a specific variable and you get the value. Not only that, which we'll go into more detail in another lesson, you'll be able to step into and out of the next function call to see the exact order or execution of the application and then you get the value of everything at that time. This is extremely powerful if you want to debug things. Now if you don't have Chrome, you can do this in Visual Studio Code as well. Visual Studio Code allows you to have a debug tab here and then all you have to do is click on launch and this will launch the app, right? Now this is based on the VS Code launch.json. Now you can start the app by going to the debugger, you press launch. And as you can see, now you can debug things directly from your Visual Studio Code window. And same thing, you can get the value of every single variable over here. You can hover over the values and you get the exact value of every single variable. So this is very powerful. Visual Studio Code allow you to do that. Now let's take a look at an example of um, client-side debugging. So here I have a create React app set up from one of my other tutorial called components. So in here, if you want to debug, um, if you want to debug things, you can also do it this way. The debugger statement will also work here. So it's, let's say I have a X function. Let's create a function called foo. Here, we'll simply create a function, and then we put in the debugger statement, and then we call the foo function. To do this, on the client side, client side, if you do this, you'll be able to use the program's execution if you open up the inspector window while the app is open. So on the client side, you can just put in the debugger statement, open up the Chrome debugger window, and the app will, will pause the execution. So same idea, you will be able to debug things like this way, which is very powerful. And you can also step through the application like you usually do. So this is uh, some of the new way of debugging things that I recommend to developers instead of console log statements. So I hope you find this video useful. Let me know what you think about the video in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I'm going to share with you our Pentacle newsletter. It's a every other day newsletter where we show you some of the latest and the greatest posts from the web dev world. If you want to improve as a developer, this is certainly a great way to improve, to find things to read about every day. Not only do we have a list of articles for you to read, we also have a curated section where we highlight interesting things for you, like projects or apps, things like that. If you're into humor, we have a humor section, courtesy of Programmer Humor. And then finally, we have a tweet highlight section where we show you some of the best tweets from the web dev community. So feel free to sign up for the Web Pentacle newsletter at pentacle.com news.